bloody hell it is cold. I'm sorry, one second. That's better. Whew. Okay, so I know I've been gone for a couple of months, and you know, I would apologise for that, but no one really watches. I've had about 30 views so far, so it doesn't really matter, but I'm back now, and hopefully I will uh, try to get on a proper schedule now. So today I'd like to talk to you about something that's been uh, it's been on my mind lately because uh, you know it started to affect me. Recently um, I turned 16 years old, that's why I got this, my first proper video camera, I got that for my 16th birthday. And in the UK where I live, turning 16 entitles you to play the lottery. Now I'll just give a brief description of the lottery. Um, I presume most of you already know what it is, but just in case any of you don't, I'll give a brief description of what the lottery is. So basically, when you want to play the lottery, um, you go to a local shop or a supermarket or somewhere like that, somewhere that sells lottery tickets, and you buy a lottery ticket. These normally cost between £1 and £2, and what you do is you pick a series of numbers, normally between 1 and 50, and then later on in the week there will be a TV show where the numbers are randomly chosen. And then depending on how many of those numbers you have, you win a certain amount of money. This can be like, you know, £10, £100, and then going up to, you know, stupid amounts of money, like £50 million. And that's what I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you today about... Sorry, thought um, someone came in. I, I can't film in front of people yet, so... So basically I wanted to talk to you today about what it would be like and, you know, what you would do if you won the lottery. If you won that, like, you know, 50 million, what would you do? Because, you know, I'm sure a lot of us, you know, me included, have thought about, you know, what it would be like to win that amount of money and, you know, like, what you would do and, like, how amazing it would be. But, you know, we never think about, like, the bad points. And there are bad points to, you know, just coming into that amount of money so quickly. You know, I'm not saying it wouldn't be, like, you know, brilliant to have that much money, but, you know, there are bad things that happen when you randomly become that rich. I was I was looking at it the other day, and, you know, if I randomly came into that much money, if I won the lottery and won, like, 50 million, I would become something like the 50th richest person in England. The 50th richest person in England. There's like millions of people live in this country. I'm just a kid, I'm a 16 year old kid, and then suddenly I've become the 50th most richest person in the country. I mean, can you like imagine what that brings about? That brings about a huge, huge change to your life, you know? You know, friends, you can't, they can't hang around you anymore as much as they used to. You know, people, who would never your friends will start to want to be your friend and you know want to start to get money from you and you know it's just so many things would happen to you there was a famous case of uh, a Muslim man he, uh, he won the lottery a couple of years ago and obviously in the Muslim religion gambling is you know prohibited you can't gamble it's, it's completely illegal but you know he he went and he did it anyway and uh, turned out he won, he won like, you know, a huge amount of money, like 25 million. And you know, he thought, well, you know, I've got this much money, surely my family can't stay mad at me, you know, I'll give them a few million, they'll think like, oh, it's alright, you know, he broke the religion, but you know, it's cool, he's got this much money, it's alright. But, unfortunately that obviously wasn't the case, and his family, you know, banished him, they, uh, they didn't want anything to do with him anymore, so you know. The lottery pretty much ruined his life. And you know, I know that's an extreme case and you know, there were certain like things in his life that wouldn't happen to me. Obviously I'm not a Muslim, so I wouldn't have that. I'm not religious, so I am free to gamble. But you know, I just wanted to talk about um, that and see what you had to say about it. Because you know, me included, when you think about winning the lottery, you think like, you only think it's good. You think, yeah, it's amazing, but you know, there are... There's bad things that come about with winning that much money as well, you know. Your life just just completely changes, you know. 
And that brings me to my question of the day. I'd like to know, if you won the lottery, if you won £25 million, pounds, or whatever currency your country uses, what are the first three things you would do? The first three things I would do would be to buy a big house, buy a big media, you know, area for like, you know, music, uh, computers, you know, games, things like that. And then, um, I don't know what else I'd do, I'd probably just put it in the bank or something, you know, wait for a rainy day, I guess. You know, I know that's pretty boring, you know, I tried to think of it off the top of my head. Hopefully, you can come up with some more imaginative things, because, I mean, that sucked, you know, that was... I mean, I thought I'd be able to do better things than that, you know. <laughs> that's my dinner ready. Um, yeah. So yeah, hope you uh, enjoyed the video, and I will be trying to upload more frequently, and uh, answer the question. What three things would you buy if you won the lottery? And that's about it. And if you're wondering, yes, the rumours are true. I am a prawn star.